Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. This video is part of my post in the Kindred Stamps July 2018 blog hop. So that will be linked in the description. I highly recommend you check that out. There is a prize to be won. And I'm going to be showing you the stamp set that I received from the July release. And it is called Fashion Boss. And it is a really fun stamp set with some really great snarky sentiments like put your big girl shoes on and show them how it's done. You're my favorite boss, babe. A card for your birthday, groundbreaking, and in order to be irreplaceable, one must always be different, which is a quote by Coco Chanel. So I'll be using one of these sentiments today with the fashion boss that is included in the set. And I'm going to be inking her up in Memento Tuxedo Black ink because it is Copic safe, which just means that the alcohol in the Copic markers won't make the ink run. And for her skin, I'm using E13, E11, and E00. And I just go from darkest to lightest usually. I know that some people like to go the other way, but I tend to prefer this way for no particular reason. It's just the way that I learned to color. And I've sped the video up quite a bit. I wanted to show the coloring, but I didn't have, or I don't have uh, too many tips in particular for this video, but I didn't want to just skip out on showing the coloring altogether. So for the hair, I used C5, C3, and C1. For her black shirt that is under her suit, I used W7, which I tend to use as a black, even though it's the darkest warm gray, but black really uh, makes those lines disappear and it's tough to see. And I'm using R29 for her suit. And then I'm going to fussy cut her out with this gigantic pair of scissors because I cannot find my cutter bee scissors. So I am making do with what I have and I'm doing my very best, but I get the job done and all is right in the world. And here is the final image. So now we will begin to construct the scene for our card. I'll be using this City Skyline die and this is by Sweet Stamp Shop. I've cut it out of a black cardstock and a gray cardstock. I want to keep the theme of the cards that I'm doing today black and white just because I feel like it's very fashionable and this lady reminds me of a very no-nonsense fashion icon type woman. So I go ahead and stick with the gray skyline just because I'm going to stamp the sentiment in black and I just wanted a little bit of difference there just to add a little bit of interest. So I'm adhering the fashion boss to the card front with foam tape to add some dimension and I'll be using the Coco Chanel quote which is again to be irreplaceable one must always be different and I'm using Versafine Onyx Black ink because that is my favorite ink for sentiments and detailed stamps and I'm just going to line it up here with my large rectangular acrylic block which I love using for sentiments. I'm going to stamp that in the top left hand corner of the card and I just think that it balances the card out quite a bit. I'm going to add this card front to a piece of black cardstock cut slightly bigger to four and an eighth by five and three eighths and then I will adhere that to a piece or I'm sorry an A2 size card base which is four and a quarter by five and a half and I always say that I use glue to adhere those together just so I have a little bit of wiggle room and can get everything perfectly spaced and centered and just to finish off the card, I'm going to add a little bit of embellishment with Ebony Crystal Nouveau Drops. So in just a moment, I will be starting my second card with the set. And I'm using this frame die by Craft and Desert Divas. It is an inside scalloped frame die, and this is how it cuts out. I've used a piece of black cardstock, and this is going to be the most simple card you have ever seen. But the sentiment is so sassy and snarky, I really just feel like it needed its own card all to itself with very little going on. So I'm going to take that frame and adhere it to an A2 sized card front, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm just going to adhere it right in the center there. 
And I'm using glue again because it gives me a little bit more wiggle room if it's a little bit to the right or to the left, not centered or sort of wonky, I can just easily fix it. I've got at least 30 seconds there or maybe 25 or so to fix the positioning of something that I'm adhering with glue. So I'll be using my mini Misty here to stamp this sentiment and I'm using the a card for your birthday groundbreaking sentiment. So I think, like I said, it's just, it's so sassy and very funny. And I think that it just needs its own card. So I'm making sure that it's centered there in the card front in the frame. And I'm going to be using VersaFine Onyx Black Ink again, and I'm stamping this a few times now just to make sure that it's nice and bold black. And that is the entire card. I didn't want to add any embellishments. I just liked it the way that it was. I hope that you've enjoyed this video and seeing my thought process and how I created these cards. As always, my blog, Instagram, Pinterest, and the link to the blog hop for Kindred Stamps is in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you very soon. Thank you. Bye.